Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a brand new build to the Canary Channel Insiders. And the new build is 27,938. And just a quick overview as to what's happening in this very early preview build of Windows 11. Now, most of these new features, if not all, are already making their way into the stable version. But just to keep you posted, first of all, Microsoft says it's introducing AI actions in File Explorer, where you can now interact with your files by right-clicking to quickly take actions like editing images or summarizing documents. And the benefit of this, Microsoft says, is that you can take advantage of editing tools in apps or copilot functionality without having to open your file. Now, as you can see, we get four different options. First of all, we get visual search with Bing, which allows you to search the web using an image instead of text. Then you've got blur background with photos. This opens the photos app, which automatically finds the background in the photo. And then you can erase objects using photos as well. And then you can remove background with paint. So those are the four options available. AI actions in File Explorer. And then Microsoft says the next one is it's starting to roll out a highly requested feature from Windows 10. The option to show a bigger clock with seconds above the date and calendar in Notification Center. And it kind of makes me wonder if this is a highly requested feature, why Microsoft removed it in the first place from Windows 11. But nonetheless, that's also coming to the stable, and I'm happy to see that once again, because I actually find this clock quite useful. And Microsoft says that to turn this option on, you would go to Settings, Time and Language, Date and Time, and flip the switch, Show Time in the Notification Center to enable that clock and I like this I like the option that we have to turn it on and off according to your own choice and preference so I think that's a nice move and then the last one to mention for this video is you can now visit the settings privacy and security text and image generation Microsoft says to see which third-party apps recently used generative AI models provided by Windows Microsoft mentions that this page gives you visibility into the specific apps leveraging local Windows provided generative AI models and allows you to control which apps are permitted to use them. And then over and above those new features and changes, we get a couple of fixes and then we get a couple of known issues because Canary is still very early preview, so known issues are expected. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.